Welcome back to another installment of the How It All Works StreamYard Academy. In today's video, we're going to look at optimizing your shared screen or your shared video in StreamYard. But before we dive in, I want to make sure that you guys have taken the chance to check out some of the previous videos. We've done optimizing for audio. We've done setting up destinations. We've done scheduling a broadcast. And then prior to that, we even did some for our How It All Works live stream graphics academy, where we use Canva to create a background image, a two camera overlay, custom lower thirds, custom banners, and even a countdown clock. So we hope that this series, this playlist that's on our channel that we've been working through every day, you have been enjoying. And if you haven't already, go ahead and hit subscribe. So let's dive in. So we're in StreamYard already. I've got the camera added behind me. And so we're going to take a look at some of the different things that we need to do to optimize how we share screen. First thing I'm going to do is go over here to settings and you're going to see right on the screen here. I have unchecked automatically add shared screens or videos to the stream. There's two things you want to understand with this one. If you are using one screen, now that's not recommended, right? I, I always recommend to folks, if you're going to be using uh, a shared screen or a shared presentation, or if you're going to share even a video, you want to have two different screens because that's going to actually be better for what you're trying to achieve. But if you actually only have one video, then it may be helpful to actually have it shared immediately into the stream. So you can actually decide here. Now, I usually have two screens. For the purposes of today's video, I'm using one for my recording, and you'll see that in a second in Ecamm, but I'm using the other for StreamYard and everything else that I'm sharing. So you've got to decide, do I want my shared items, whether it's a video or a, a screen or a presentation, do I want that to share into the system automatically or do I want it to share in and sit at the bottom and wait for me to add it when I'm ready? You've got to make that decision. For purposes of this video, I'm going to leave this unchecked. But when we talk about optimizing your system for shared screens, shared videos for you yourself and for your guests, this is what you want to be able to do. So now that we've looked at that, let's go ahead and share a couple things into the system. Of course, right here on the bottom, you see it says share. I'm going to go ahead and share a screen first. Now, I'm going to share the entire screen. This is one way that some people do it. You'll see that it pops up here in the bottom and then I can just add it to the stream. And you see that now you're seeing my entire Ecamm this design. You're seeing that I'm, I am recording on that screen and I can come over to the screen and hide this thing on the bottom. I always tell my guests or, or even for myself, if I'm using shared screen functionality, hide that thing on the bottom. You don't want anybody to see that. Um, but you, you have access to your entire screen here. You can show the entire screen and you can even change your format so that if it's just a speaker and the screen, you can actually change it to this view so that you don't have, you know, too much other distractions there, especially if what's on the screen is a presentation, you want to be able to change that. But the, 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 the thing here to keep note of is even, even, even as you have your share, your screen shared, you're seeing everything on that screen. You're going to see the mouse moving around. Uh, you're going to see anything that you click on on that screen, you will see. So this is not, in my opinion, the optimal way to share a presentation into StreamYard. Not the optimal way. You're seeing way too much on the screen, um, especially if you're trying to keep this in a production, you know, as a production, you want to be able to um, have some of those things behind the scenes. So I'm going to remove this and then click the three buttons to stop screen share. All right. So that now we're back to our normal looking uh, setup. I'm going to go back to share and go to share screen. But this time, instead of entire screen, I'm going to click on window. Now, if you click on window, it's going to ask you if you want to share any of these things into the system. Um, I don't usually use the window I option. I usually use Chrome tab, but the window option may be good for you if you have something specific that you want to share into the system. So keep that in mind. You may want to use the window option. You can also use a Chrome tab. And so one of the things I like to do, if, if I can't, if I have a PowerPoint, I actually prefer to export it as a PDF and then 
bring it in this way. So here I'm sharing this PDF. And of course, it immediately goes to that tab. And so now I'm no longer in StreamYard. So I actually have to go back to StreamYard and then go and add this to the stream. So now you're seeing the PDF there. And so I can go back to the PDF and scroll through. Um, actually, if you even if you hit if you hit the space bar, it'll take you through your presentation. And of course, there's it's very difficult for us to see both because I'm trying to utilize all on one screen. But you can see here what that PDF looks like. And again, this is not a, the optimal way, right? But it is better, in my opinion, than still using something uh, something bigger like a PowerPoint or a Keynote. Those do work, but you want to make sure that you have two screens in order to do that. And the reason why I actually don't like using either of those is because they want to do that presentation mode. So sometimes even when you have two screens, it wants to show you your presenter view on one screen and the actual presentation on the other. And it still ends up mimicking the same issue that we have now where you don't have the ability to see StreamYard and see your presentation. So I've actually started to move away from using PowerPoint and Keynote for my presentations in StreamYard, um, I've you I've moved to completely over to either Google Slides or Canva. I want to show that to you right now. So we come back here to share screen. We share screen again. Go to Chrome tab. And this is why Google Slides and Canva, in my opinion, are a better way to do this because they are in Chrome and you can share that specific tab. So here's a presentation I have in Google Slides. And now that it is shared, you see that blue box that's around there, I can hit present. And so now that comes into full screen mode. When we go back to StreamYard, you can see this has been added at the bottom. Once I add it to the screen, now you have the full uh, presentation here. Now, again, you will just have to go through your slides um, <laughs> manually or or going back and forth between the tabs when you only have one screen. When you only have one screen, you you'd have to go through your tabs manually this way. And again, this is one of the things you want to do when you have something on screen that's not very small, not unlike this ta this tab. Let me find one that's not very small. Let's see here. I think this one was one here. Okay, so this one is the one that is it, it, it's not a whole lot to read on the screen so you may want to shift your orientation from the to where from where the presentation is larger to where the person that's speaking is larger and so this is just one of those producer things if you're self-producing your your show or if you have a guest who's presenting you want to make sure that you are able to showcase i'm pointing the wrong way showcase the the presentation but also showcase the speaker and so yeah this is what it would look like with Google Slides. And we're going to go ahead and remove that and get back to our regular shot here. Remove that and it to remove it from the stream stream. The other one I want to show is if you were to do a presentation in uh, Canva. So let's show that real quick. Let's go over to Canva. I've got a presentation queued up and I can click share. And of course, you see that that's there. Yeah, so the only thing that's only thing for me to do now is to actually come through here and say present. You, you, this is critical. You want to make sure that you just have it as standard because if you do presenter view and all this other stuff, it's going to go into some of those other uh, options that you don't want to do. So we go into present and here we are. Five tips for camera confidence. And I, I, I can actually just click next on there. And if you come back over to StreamYard, you'll see that this has been added now and I can add this to the stream and you'll see that whole thing is there. And again, this is one of those times where it's not a whole lot on the screen. So you want to make sure that your speaker is prominent and the slide is smaller, but you have full control. You're not really seeing a whole lot of stuff on the screen. Uh, so you can, you know, your speaker can go through and control their own slides. I always recommend either Google Slides or Canva for your presentations and you can come back to this view and again you can move around if you got two people there speaking you can still move them around on the side or you can have the presentation take up the entire screen either one works and you can you can actually have that set up in that way and so this is how one of the th way these are one of the ways that you would 
optimize your shared screen functionality in the system. The other thing that we're going to look at really quick and then we're done with this video um, is how to optimize for shared video. So we grab a video file. I'm just going to grab the one we did yesterday and click open. And again, it opens in the bottom here um, on, the, on your screen. And you, again, that's going to be determined by you taking that option. Are you going to actually have that video come up on screen automatically or not? And then because it, we decided not to, you can actually add your back, <laughs> add it to the stream. You can uh, scrub through to the part that you want to show. This is yesterday's video, so we, we, we saw all this stuff in yesterday's video. Um, we can have it do whatever we want it to do. We have full controls over this. And just be clear, these controls are not visible to your viewers. And you have the same option to have that be smaller uh, on the side is this and have, have it to be in the background or have it be the full video, right? We can have it take over the entire screen. So you have those options there, and, and, and again, this because you're, you're sharing a video, one of the things you want to remember is, is to have a really good internet connection, or you're going to see buffering, or you're going to see stuttering in your audio, and that is one of, those are the, some of the major complaints when people share videos into the system. So these are some of the ways that you can optimize your video share or your screen share for screen sharing or presentations in StreamYard. For your live streams so there you have it <laughs> this one is a little longer we tried to take our time and walk you through what we thought was the critical points for share screen these were some big ones maybe should have maybe i should have split it into two but i wanted to be able to, to get through all of those points give you some tips and tricks and hopefully you're able to use these to not only allow your presentations to be better when you're sharing screen or sharing video into StreamYard, but also when you have a guest in the system who wants to share something so they can put their best foot forward as well it's your boy kirk nugent the geek speaker preacher hoping that somewhere in the video today somewhere while we went over shared screen and shared video you were able to figure out how it all works come back tomorrow where we'll be talking about optimizing StreamYard for mobile streaming. I'll see you in the next video.